Hello and welcome to the Edionics Projects in Java course. Before we get into the course, I want to go over the projects and what the objectives are for each one. So our first project is going to be a media player. For this, we're going to use JavaFX. And once the project is complete, we're going to be able to play videos and MP3 files. Our second project is going to be a game. So the objectives here are to manipulate images and create objects that can have interaction through collisions or user input. We're also going to create a messenger app. We're going to have a swing GUI that lets the user log in and send messages to other people that are logged into the same server. Project 4 is going to be a database explorer. And so what we're going to do with this project is connect to a MySQL database run queries and display those queries. We can also update information on the database. Project number five is an ACA project. ACA is a work distribution system. It uses actors and actor systems. We're going to distribute a workload that will calculate primes. Project number six is going to be a text editor. We're going to use a swing GUI to create that. Now, one of the important things we're going to do here is create an encryption system for when the users log in. We're not storing their password. We're storing an encrypted version of that password. Project number seven is going to expand on that. So instead of using the local system, we're going to use a server. So we're going to have servlets. The servlets will process the login. And then it will also handle sending the information and saving the information to the server. Project number eight isn't one project, it's actually a few projects. They're done in Maven. We're going to create some of the projects that had dependencies in our previous projects in Maven. So we'll transfer those over. And then we'll also create a local repository and an archetype that is basically a template in Maven. Project number nine is going to use OpenCV. OpenCV is an open library that allows us to access the cameras on a system and do some processing on it. What we're going to do in this project is create a face detection camera app that takes screenshots. And our last project is going to use JSOUP. So JSOUP allows us to parse a website. We can get different elements from the website and we'll put that into a JFrame with tabs. So thank you for choosing to take this course. I hope you enjoy creating the projects that we have set up for you.